I have found that almost 40% of all emails that I receive within a corporate environment are emails that I've been copied on, the CC mail. Now within a corporate environment, we need to start developing some form of email culture, especially when it comes to CC mail. CC stands for courtesy copy and is to keep you informed with what's happening in the background. CC is not for your action. If you want someone to do something for you, do not put that person's name in the CC section. Put it in the to section. CC is purely FYI. So in order to help me process emails more effectively, I like to set up a rule that separates my CC stuff from the emails that have been sent directly to me. This allows me to first process the to stuff and I can then process the CC stuff at a later stage. Please bear in mind that this will only work if everyone plays by the same rules and people only use CC to copy on things that they want to keep you informed about. Let's go and set one up. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder under my inbox and call it at CC mail. Then I go to the home tab. Then under the move section, you'll see there's a button that says rules. We're going to go to rules and we're going to select Manage Rules and Alerts. Rules and Alerts window that opens, select New Rule in the top left hand corner, and then go down to Start from a Blank Rule and select Apply Rules on Messages I Receive, and click Next. We're then going to select where my name is in the CC box. Please do not select where my name is in the To or CC box, just where my name is in the CC box. You can then go ahead and select Next. Now Outlook wants to know what folder you'd like to move this to. We're going to select move to the specified folder and then click on the word specified in the bottom section. This will allow us to tell Outlook which folder to move it to. When your folder list opens up, click the arrow next to your inbox and select at CC mail. Click OK. And you can then select next. Now Outlook will give you the opportunity to set any exceptions. For example, I can say except if the email comes directly from my boss. Let's go and set one up. We're going to put a check mark where it says except if from people or public group. Click on people or public group at the bottom and go and select your boss's name. In this case, Susan. I add Susan to the from section, click OK, and I can then set any other exceptions. I can also say except if the email is marked as, let's say, confidential. Or you can even say except if the email is being marked as high priority. So once you've set all your exceptions, you can then click on next, which takes us to the final window where we can rename the rule. I'm going to call it at CC mail. If you want, you can run this rule now on messages already in your inbox. This is very useful if you have high volumes of emails in your inbox and you want to apply this rule to emails that are currently there. So now we click on finish, apply, and OK. So any emails you receive from now on where your name is in the CC box will automatically move to the CC mail folder.